Until a few years ago, we had uh, open surgery and laparoscopic surgery. Robotic surgery is a new era in surgery. It shares with the laparoscopic surgery the minimal invasive approach. But that's all. With robotic surgery, the surgeon sits at a console and the system replicates the movements of his hands inside the body. But thanks to the wristed instruments, you don't have any limitation in movements as if for laparoscopy. I can do the operation exactly as I do in open surgery. The feeling is like having your hands directly in the operating field. The system also gives a tridimensional, detailed, and magnified view of the operating field. So it allows to recognize the smaller anatomical structures. Other important features are the uh, electronic suppression of the hand's natural tremor and the capability of motion scaling, which means that the five centimeters movement of my hands outside will be a one centimeter movement of the tip of the instruments. These two things together give a terrific accuracy and precision during the section. The result is an increased accuracy during surgery and decreased risk of trauma and collateral damages to surrounding tissues. In rectal surgery, precise movements and uh, uh, fine uh, instruments allows a perfect dissection of uh, the mesorectum, which is of paramount importance for reducing the risk of uh, uh, recurrence of the rectal tumor. And moreover, the detailed view allows the identification of the nervous structures of the hypogastric places, thus reducing the risk of uh, urinary dysfunction and impotence, which are common side effects of the rectal surgery. Well, the first model of the Da Vinci system had a limited operative field. So when the interventions involve multiple abdominal quadrants, uh, it was needed to reposition the surgical cart several times during the intervention, prolonging operative time. The new system's arms have a wider working radius. So it's possible to perform a, a multi-quadrant interventions such as uh, low anterior resections with uh, splenic flexure mobilization, fully robotic, and with the robotic cart always in the same position, as we demonstrated in one of our publications. Thanks to this improvement, we could extend the advantages of robotic surgery to cure other abdominal malignancies. Currently, we use robotic surgery to cure colon cancer, rectal cancer, cancer of the stomach, cancer of the adrenal gland, cancer of the spleen, and cancer of the pancreas. It's very important in any case to say that uh, this system with the extreme dexterity and the fine precision simply replicates the surgeon's movements. It cannot be programmed at all. It cannot perform any type of surgical maneuver without the surgeon's input. Patients operated uh, with robotic surgery have less postoperative pain, less blood loss, a shorter hospital stay, a faster recover, and better aesthetic results. Patient satisfaction with robotic surgery is generally high, and surgeon satisfaction is high too.